Switch back. Switch back. Hey guys, Riveted here. Welcome back to another episode of the Book of Unwritten Tales 2, our lovely adventure game where we seem to be stuck with Ivo indefinitely. So, we last left off, we'd been collecting part of the potion, and I want to go back to the library and see if there are some things that I might have overlooked. Okay, well, let's take a quick look in here. Because I noticed that there was quite a few things that I forgot about. I did everything over here, but I forgot about this flower here. Let's see what this is. This flower clearly is one of the more exotic of the palace's flowers. It comes from a country in the deep south beyond the deserts. It's said that the flower of this plant used to be sent as a declaration of war, or if one wanted to deprive someone of all scents. Can we do anything Why with it? Why do so many people hate this flower? Perhaps it has an abhorrent smell. Okay. Whoa. Now that explains why this flower is classified as a weapon in 24 countries. Well, maybe that will be of some use to us with the uh, that uh, Magnus fruit or whatever it was. Now, there's dragon I did a not look at. A few years ago, this dragon was causing a whole lot of grief. A bounty was put on its head, and all heroes of the land were encouraged to hunt it down. Forty brave warriors penetrated its lair and slew it. They brought the head to the palace where it was displayed in triumph. The strange thing was that a bit later, more adventurers came carrying an identical head. Then more and more heroes arrived. <laughs> okay. So, okay, let's go up here too. Since I did not check this part out before. Hey. The door can be opened easily from the outside. If it was up to me, it would stay open. Well. Okay, so we got the... What the... Did I not... I don't think I did this before. Hmm, this flower was given to us by the fairies. Just like the love lily down in the garden. Okay. I bet they belong together. <laughs> Okay, well, that being done, let's go bring the flower to um, Arbor. No, yeah. I get more sunflower seeds. I'm going to have to take a few more of your seeds, but I promise this is the last time. Okay, let's hope that uh, we're still. F hmm. I don't know what that was for. Must be something cheap cheap later on. Okay, Arbor! My friend Arbor! Let's give him the plant. Hi, Arbor! Oh, Ivo! <coughs> Dun, 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 dun. I've got a flower here that could help you with your love lily. And? Yes, look. Are we right? Look, do you know this flower? Oh, somebody looks happy. Aww. <laughs> you did well, girl. That's cute. It would appear so. You snivelling girl. You all right? Um, no. Yes. <laughs> I don't know. Well then, I think I've earned myself a little rest now. Okay, so what does that mean? Oh. Does that mean that uh, smoke gets rid of the bees? Yes, it does. Okay, let's do this. The pipe smoke seems to have calmed them down a bit. <clears throat> yes, they have. Um, 
Now, when I did this before, it gave me grief. So let's try this again. You know, stirring the nest. The smoke from Arbor's pipe seems to be calming the bees. This is my chance. Ooh, part two. Whoa, my goodness. Hey now, you all right there? Um, sorry, had to do it. Well, I'm not happy about this destruction of nature. Not unless I get half of that there honey. <laughs> I don't need any more. The rest is for you. Okay. Now. Oh, that be good stuff. Oh, honey is good stuff. Arbor, you and I are in a good well, agreement. Enough. The bees need a bit too. Okay, so. Okay, we do have honey. Good. So we've got the honey and the herring, and we just need this fruit. So. Now. Since this thing was a declaration of war. <gasps> Ta -da. If the bush had a heart, it would have skipped a few beats. No kidding there. Okay. Thanks. Okay, now do you have any idea of how we're going to do this, Arbor? You're having a good time, I see. What can I do for you? Nope. I have to get anything. on. Don't work too hard. Arp, that I won't. Okay, well. It said we needed to mix these with water. Now, they're up at our bedroom there is that nut bowl and the water jug, so. I think I keep so many things memorized with these silly games. Okay, let's go in. Let's see if this will work. If not, I'll go down and talk the book. Because there was this water jug, which I saw before. Okay, so let's see. If we put this stuff, can I put it in the... Yes, 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 I can. About one spoon of honey. Okay. One green fruit. Oh, that fruit smells really sour. And a herring! Thanks for the sacrifice, little fish. Okay. And then we take water's the water. the easiest ingredient of Put the water in there. That should do it. The medicine book reckoned that it should be a viscous potion. Now I've got all the ingredients. I just need to crush them. Okay. Um no. When in doubt. I got a rock, will that work? Ta-da! Look at me, look at me! Mm. I'm pretty sure that there's never been anything so utterly revolting concocted in the elf burrow ever. Oh, I hope this is some kind of joke. Okay, now do I... I don't know much, but I do know that I'm not going to drink this potion until I've had another mm. chat to the medicine book okay. about it. Okie dokie. I need to know which disease this potion's meant to be good for. Looks as if it's been pre-digested several times. <laughs> Lovely. Okay, well, let's go and talk to the old book. Let's see how helpful he is this time. Okay. Come on, book. Let's see what we got. Hi. Well, what's up? Okay, the potion is ready. The potion's ready, but you don't seriously expect me to drink it, do you? You must. Yay. Oh, Cheap Cheap's back. Cheap, I'm so... Yes, I know, but... <coughs> this, um, <clears throat> medicine... Oh, he's annoying. Well, I did tell you that I wasn't feeling well, and the medicine book here thinks it could be something serious. She has to drink it, the sour metas fruit, sweet honey and salty fish. That should give us an answer. Okay. Drink it, can we? Okay, here we go. Oh, it looks revolting. Just drink it. It is medicine. It's not supposed to taste nice. Oh, bottoms up, That's girly. Right. Down to the last drop. Ugh. Hmm. 
Not as bad as I was expecting. Really? In actual fact, it's quite tasty. I could definitely drink another glass of that. Oh, gross. Congratulations, Ivo. You are pregnant. <laughs> Whoa. Well, didn't see that one coming. <laughs> it's a cheap cheap. No, 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 no. That is completely impossible. <clears throat> you must be wrong. Surely it's a misdiagnosis. You are an elf and say that potion is quite tasty. I could definitely drink another glass of that. That's raging hormones talking. <laughs> I don't have any hormones. I... <whistles> Cheap, no. I guess the wedding's off. No, the book has made a mistake. Okay. I cannot be pregnant. I've never stood in the divine water with Nate on Midsummer's Night singing the Song of Life. Why? How do humans do it? They do what? <laughs> Elves and humans can have children together, but it's not possible without sex. You see? We never had sex. At least not to my knowledge. Oh my. But the diagnosis is crystal clear. Okay. Let's just pretend that I am pregnant. There must be some explanation, rational or otherwise. If we discount the possibility that the child was conceived by natural means, which would certainly appear to be the case here, then that leaves us with just the unconventional conception methods. Okay, and did, did that you, happen? perhaps, make some kind of pact with a goblin regarding the child? Child in exchange for gold or a kingdom, for example? No. Has a god in the guise of a bull appeared to you in your <laughs> dreams? Any angels been having a word with you? No. Have any stars fallen from the heavens recently? No, not that I'm aware of. Hmm. Then that just leaves magic uh -oh. or a curse. No, we but were unfortunately, curse that with. is not my area of expertise. Please, I hope we don't I have wish to go it talk was to our so mother. Cheap, but my feeling is that the book is right. I am pregnant. Oh boys, this could have some dire, dire circumstance or consequences. One sorry. thing's certain: mother I'll must look at the never word and start find reading out about it this. And what I'm saying. Oh, I don't boys. know either. Do you think that my tummy will start to show? <laughs> yeah. Oh. I must have been cursed. I'm not sure how, and I'm not sure why, but it would appear that I'm pregnant. And as all other possibilities have been eliminated, then it must be a curse that's responsible. That is... fantastic! <laughs> not really. No, no, of course I didn't mean it like that. But just think. Me. Cursed. That sounds like an adventure. Well, that's one way to look at it. Totally obvious what we need to do now. We ask Archmage Alistair. He's the wisest magician in the realm of man, and he's a friend. He'll be able to tell us what it means. Oh, no, you don't. <laughs> you remember who was meant to be looking after me so that nothing happens to me, don't you? Aha! Uh, Alistair's well. sure to have the answers. We'll have to track him down in the Mage Tower in Seastone. Only, how are we going to get there? Seastone is days away from here. Oh yeah, saying fly is all well and good. Are you going to teach me quickly then? <laughs> no, we need a fast mode of transport. And then there's the small matter of the Border Watch. Their longbows can take out a fly's eye at 400 metres. And they will shoot if said fly should dare to set foot in or leave the woodland realm without permission. You don't by any chance know the password that the Border Watch use? 
Is it cheap, cheap? Uh, typical. That's exactly the problem. Mother chooses a new password every single day, and there's no way I'll get it out of her. Oh, why don't you know the password? You normally know everything. <laughs> hey, know it all. Mother's mirror. It knows more than you. It must know the password. If we work as a team, we should be able to cast a little light on the matter, Cheap. After all, if it is a curse, then I'm the victim, not the perpetrator. Well, yes, I know that. She'll blame us whatever happens. But it's best for us to have some answers rather than just presenting her the facts, don't you think? Transport oh. and the password. Let's go. Okay, guys. Well, it looks like we have finally figured out what is wrong with Ivo. And, oh, boys, this is going to get interesting. You know what? Every time you solve a puzzle, there's two more to figure out. So, anyway, that is going to be the end of today's episode as we wander back out into the garden and try to figure out what to do from here. So I'm going to call the episode here. This seems to be where we always leave off. Um, hopefully this will be the last time. This is very, very, very in-depth. I'm very excited. Um, they've they've done their absolute best with this game. I'm loving every, every moment of it. So I hope you guys are as well. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Take care. Bye-bye.